what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel i have the new blush and bronzers from rem beauty right here in my little hands they finally came in the mail and i'm really excited to try these out so if you didn't know rem beauty is the beauty brand from ariana grande and she has finally come out with powder blushes and powder bronzers so i immediately went on on launch day ordered a shade of each there were so many beautiful shades of the blushes, but I thought, no, you don't know the formula. Get one, try it out. If you like it, you can always get more. So that's what I did. But I did order a couple of other products from the brand that I had never tried before and I heard some good things about. So we will be testing those out as well. Um, while I don't have a full face of REM Beauty, I figured we could just kind of fill in the gaps with other products that I am currently testing out at the moment. So, if you are curious about these new products from REM Beauty, then stick around. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and jump into this makeup look. My skin is already prepped with skincare, my SPF is on, and we're gonna go ahead and start with a primer. So, I don't have a primer from REM, but I do have this new one from One Size Beauty. It is the Secure the Glow Primer, and I just, I was intrigued the minute I saw this bottle with the cute little pink balls in it, I guess. I was intrigued, but this is a glowy, hydrating, tacky primer. So I'm excited. You know, I love my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip, and I also love the, what is it, the Power Grip from e.l.f. So when I saw that one size came out with one, I was intrigued and I wanted to try it out. And I've actually been using it a little bit over the past week. And so far, I really like it. It's not as tacky as the other two, but that's okay. It still does its job. So far, it holds my makeup in place. And it is nice and glowy and beautiful on the skin. I will, um, per usual, leave all of the products that we are using today in this video down in the description box. So if you're curious about any of those, you can head on down there and check everything out. But let's move on to foundation. So I do already have the REM Sweetener Foundation right here. You can see she has been used. She has been loved. I have the color Fair 3 in and this is too light for me. You can see when I hold that up, it is just way too light for me. So I haven't worn it a whole lot because of that, but I have found a way that I can actually wear this foundation. So what I have been doing is mixing this foundation with the Tarte Key Largo Glow Bronzing Drops right here. And it's actually perfect. Plus it adds just a little bit of a glow to the foundation that makes me love it even more. So let me show you what I do. So all I do on a little palette is I take one full pump of the REM foundation and then I'm going to go in with my Tarte bronzing drops and I just put about a drop on there like that. And then we're going to mix this all together and put it on with a sponge and it just gives the most beautiful finish. It has really helped me to fall in love with this foundation. So I'm just going to take the end of a brush, mix her up really good. And put her on my face. Okay, now this is a really nice foundation. I believe it came out last year. Um, I will leave a link to this foundation below and I will also pop up on the screen um, the shade range and price and a little bit of information about this foundation because I don't know that off the top of my head. But I do really enjoy this foundation. It has such a nice finish. For me, it's a little more matte than what I prefer. But if I pair it with a glowy um, base, it does beautiful. And now that I can mix it in with those Tarte bronzing drops, 
it does even better on my skin. But see how beautiful that looks? And we're not even fully blended. So I'm just going to blend this on my entire face and then we will move on to concealer. My foundation is on and this is what we are looking like. It has such a beautiful finish. I really love the way that it looks on the skin. It's got a good medium coverage. So it's not completely full. You can still see a little bit of that redness in my sunspot up there, but that's okay. Um, I do love a good light to medium coverage foundation. But let's go ahead and go on to concealer. So I had the concealer from REM Beauty, but I returned it because I absolutely did not like it. I hated it. It was a pot concealer, which they've never worked out for me, but I tried it anyways. And it was way, way, way too dry for my under eyes. And that's usually the only place that I conceal. I don't really spot conceal on my face because I don't typically break out or anything like that. So I returned it. It was not my cup of tea, but I will say if you're looking for a good spot concealer, that is probably an excellent one to go with. But today we are going to go in with the House Labs, what is it, the Triclone whatever her concealer that she came out last year this is from lady gaga's brand and i have the color 03 fair rosy right here and i love this concealer i really really do i didn't think i would ever find a concealer that i loved as much as my little combo that i like to use my natasha denona and gucci concealer combo but when I tell y'all I have been using this non-stop for the past week, it's true. This is a beautiful concealer. I really, really enjoy it. It looks so beautiful under my eyes. It's not drying. It's not cakey. It doesn't make my under eyes look dry or cakey. It's got a good medium to full coverage. I just really enjoy it. I want to test this out side by side with my favorite little combo and see how it holds up. So be on the lookout for that video. I'm sure it will come sometime fairly soon. But that's just so beautiful. I absolutely love it. Okay, let's move on to powder because this video is not about the House Labs concealer. So for powder, I am just going to powder my under eyes with my Glowish by Huda Beauty Luminous Press Powder right here that I got in my most recent BoxyCharm. I have really been enjoying this for under my eyes. And it's got just such a beautiful like satin finish. It's not super glowy, but it's a little too glowy to completely set the face um so i enjoy it to set my under eyes or as like a finishing powder all right so next up we have a new to me product this one came out last year and i'm so mad that i slept on it for as long as i did because this is beautiful so this is the lunar beauty lunaversal setting powder i have mine in translucent light y'all when i tell you this powder is stunning it is so finely milled and it just it blurs your imperfections and makes the face and the skin look just so flawless and beautiful um from what i've heard people with oily skin this is a fantastic one as well but as somebody with more normal skin that likes to change with the seasons I really love it as well. So it comes with a little powder puff. You can see I've been using it and it also locks. So I love that. Open up the right side would be helpful. So it does open up and it has the little sifter in there with the B, which is super cute. I will say this is a very, very powdery um, powder. Duh, that's the word. So you will probably see i don't know if the camera will pick it up but it is very very powdery but 
Just look at that. I don't think the camera is going to pick it up. But I can see the powder flying across in front of me, but I don't mind. But let me get you closer and you can just see how that's like instantly perfecting my skin and setting down this foundation. Absolutely beautiful. So now that my face is all powdered, let's go ahead and move on to the bronzer. So here is the new bronzer from REM Beauty. These are the Hypernova Satin Matte Bronzers. I got the shade Send to Voicemail right here. I will pop up the shade range and the pricing of this. Um, up in the corner, but I did get the lightest shade that they had and this is what the component looks like. It's got like that little space pod look to it. Super cute. Very, very nice and luxury feeling, but this is the actual product. So it does have that cute little like sand dune design in the pan and I think the color looks nice. So go ahead and try it out. Let's see how it looks. It doesn't look too orange or um, too neutral, but I'm going to go in with a Morphe R10 brush right here, and we are going to bronze up this skin. So it does pick up nicely. Let's see how it applies. Okay. That looks nice. It's not super pigmented, which is fine. I do enjoy a buildable bronzer instead of one that's like bam in your face. And it's like, oh no, what have I done? Those are not my favorite. But I do like this color. That is really pretty. It's not too orangey. That's nice. That looks really, really pretty. Okay. So there is the one side of my face with the bronzer on, and there is the other side with none. Um, looking at it, it looks really nice. It is definitely a satin matte finish. It seems to be pretty buildable. It does have a nice sheen. It didn't patch up. It didn't lift. It didn't do anything like that. So that is a plus. I like this formula so far. I wish I had a different brush to try it with, but all my brushes were dirty and yeah, you get what you get. Let's see. It doesn't have a fragrance either. I always expect a bronzer to smell like the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula or the um, Hula bronzer from Benefit. I don't know why. I just... I want all my bronzers to smell like that, but they don't. That's okay. Okay, so we are all bronzed up. Let's go ahead and move on to the blush. So here is the blush right here. This is the Hypernova um, Satin Matte Blush, and I picked up the color Skinny Dipped. Like I said earlier in the video, there were so many beautiful colors. There was like three or four more that I wanted. But we're going to try it first, and if we like it, we can get more. You don't want to buy a bunch of something that you've never tried before. Oh, this is cute. I really, really like this component. I like that we can see what color is in here. That is a huge, huge plus for me. I love it. And that is the color right there. Again, the same little markings in the pan. It's so, so pretty. I'm excited to try this out. So I'm going to go in with a bling brush, blinged brush F24 right here, and we're going to pick up the product. Okay. And put her on. Okay. So again, not super pigmented, which I appreciate as well. I can get a little heavy handed with a blush and if it's super pigmented bad things can happen but this is really pretty it looks really nice on the get on the skin again it's got that pretty sheen you can see where the lights hitting it but it's not like a glowy blush so it's not one 
that's going to give you like a highlight effect. It does have that beautiful sheen. Okay. I like that color too. That's very pretty. I'm really into the pink blushes right now. I'm not normally a pink blush person. I've always enjoyed more of like an orange or like a deep burnt orange blush. But for some reason, I am into the cool tones. And I don't know. I just am. And everybody over the past year has been coming out with so many pink blushes. And I just want them all. I want them all. And I want to put them all on and just live in a pink blush bubble. But this is very pretty too. I really like the way that that looks. Again, nice and buildable. It didn't patch up. It didn't skip. It didn't lift any of the product underneath. I really like this, y'all. I think I'm going to buy some more, which is bad because. <laughs> There's so many products coming out, but okay, I digress. Let's move on. I also picked up something I had never tried. I picked up a highlighter from the brand as well. I've heard um, a couple of people talk about how awesome that these highlighters are, how beautiful they are. They're just glowy. She does have some really cool colors, but I went ahead and played it safe and I got Miss Mercury right here. So let's open her up as well and it's the same little component as the bronzer um actually the bronzer nope they're the same okay <laughs> same component and this is what the highlighter looks like this is like a champagne -y highlighter it looks the same in the pan but i am really excited to try this out Again, it was hard to choose what color because there was just so many fun colors, but we're going to start with one. And that's usually how it begins, isn't it? So I'm going to pick this up with my um, ABH A23 highlighting brush. Tap her off a little bit and we're just going to go in. And, oh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. I love that. It's not as like in your face blinding as like the rare beauty highlight, but it's also more than like a glow within. It is, it is space age. That's beautiful. Mm, I may have a new obsession. Hello, REM Beauty. Where have you been? Why have I overlooked you as much as I have? I'm kind of mad at myself over that, but it's okay. That's okay. It's never too late to try something new. I could have gone crazy shopping her brand, but I didn't do it. A little bit up here. We're just, we're just going to glow. We're just going to glow all over because that's what I want to do. The aliens are coming and they see me. Okay, let's move on to eyes. So I did not pick up an eyeshadow palette from her. Um, I don't know, it just didn't call out to me. I love my indie brand eyeshadows and I have so many palettes sitting here that I've been trying out. I have so many on the way to me that I'm gonna try out. So I thought, let's just go ahead and bring out an oldie or not oldie. Why did I say oldie? I feel like at this point it is because it came out so long ago, but we're going to bring out the ultraviolet palette from Bella Beauty Bar in collaboration with Deandra Nicole. So I am going to start by priming my eyes. I am going to go in with the Tease Suit of Armor Battle Prep Eye Primer that I got in my BoxyCharm. I have actually really been enjoying this. This is a nice primer. So I thought that we would just kind of go ahead, step away from my Natasha Denona and try this one out just a little bit more. Okay, so my eyes are primed and ready to go. I did go in with the Tease Suit of Armor Eye Primer and we are going to start this look out. So I think I want to, I want to start out with this shade right here called royalty 
and I want to just put this into my crease blending it up slightly so apparently when I say blending it up slightly I mean blending it all the way up <laughs> but we're going to take that same color and I'm going to bring it down to my lower lash line and just blow it out wrap this color all the way around my eyes so I want to go ahead and deepen that outer corner just a bit and I'm going to go in with this shade right down here called Balance. And I'm just gonna pick this up with a Sigma E54 brush right here. And I'm gonna put that in my outer corner. Take that same color and just lightly, right on that outer third of my lower lash line, put it right there, just keeping all of my drama on that outer corner beautiful love it love it okay let's add some sparkle to this eye i'm going to go in with my nyx um, glitter primer right here tap a little bit on my lid and we're going to do some sparkle so I'm thinking for this look, I want to play with this shimmer shade up here called Rarity. And I want to put that all over my lid and then probably go in with Magical in my inner corner. Let's go ahead and start with Rarity. This color, oof, beautiful. I have full swatches of this palette in my dedicated video. I will link it down below. Oh, so, so pretty. For the inner corner, I'm going to go in with a Game Beauty EO8 brush, and I'm going to go into that color Magical. I'm just going to pick it up and tap it right here in my inner corner. I love that sparkle. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up this eye look, and I will be right back. Okay, so my eye look is complete. I did go in and throw on some brows with the Urban Decay Brow Gel right here. I put the um, Multichrome Liner from ColourPop in the shade Acting Up in my waterline down here. I lined my lash line with the glam light calligrapher um liquid liner right here as well absolutely loving all three of these products they are amazing and then for my lashes i threw on the glam light betty boop um what is this the boopalicious full volume mascara as well um, i'm still trying to get my full feelings on this but that is what is on my lashes so let's go ahead and throw on um, a lip and then we can set this face and we will be done with this look so I did pick up a couple of products from REM for my lips so I got one of her one side is in Spanish and one is in English which I love by the way um, I got the at the borderline lip liner pencil and I got the shade key change right here and then I also got one of her on your collar plumping lip glosses in scrunchy. So this one makes me a little bit nervous. I'm not a big limp lip plumping person, but we are going to try it out and see how it works. So I am going to take off my lip mask that I have on. It's just one of the ones from Laneige right here. My lips are so so dry right now okay let's start with the lip liner in key change open her up okay so this is oh it has a little sharpener on the end and it is a pencil so but it's yeah it it's sharpenable it doesn't okay it does it's like retractable. So it's a retractable lip liner pencil with a built-in lip liner. So cute. I love that. Okay. Let's line our lips 
it's hard to do this while I'm talking. Okay, that's nice and creamy. That goes on really nicely. I don't think it's too creamy. I like the color as well. It's a really pretty color. Okay, so I've gone ahead and lined and filled in most of my lips. Um, I really like this color. I think it's beautiful. So far, I'm liking the formula of this lip pencil. It went on nicely. It wasn't too creamy. It wasn't super stiff, but I want to see how it wears. So um, I will continue to try this out. I will continue to try all this out. And of course, come um, back at you with my final thoughts in a future speed reviews. But so far, I do really enjoy that lip liner. So let's go in with the gloss. So this is the color scrunchie. I hope this isn't painful, but this is what the little bottle looks like. It's super cute. I like that. Um, let's see. Oh, <gasps> y'all, I expected this to come out and be like a doe foot. And so when I pulled it off, I thought it was broken, but it's one of those little applicators right there. <laughs> okay we're all new right okay let's put this on I'm not a big fan of these but you know immediately I can smell like I don't even know how to describe it like I know what it is but I don't like almost like a mentholated I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it is. I can already feel it tingling. It has like a, almost like a Carmex smell. If you've ever used Carmex, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So I love the color. I think the color is beautiful. I'm not a big fan of this Carmex style applicator. I don't like it, but if it's a good gloss, I will use it, but it does feel comfortable. It's not sticky. It's a little stingy, but it's not, it's not uncomfortable. I don't feel anything uncomfortable. I really kind of feel the stinging a little bit more in the center where my lip was really I hate to say this, but dry and cracked. So, yeah. Not too bad. Um, yeah, I will let you know in a pinned comment if it gets really stingy and uncomfortable. So, I'll let you know. And, of course, I will continue to test this out and let you know how I feel about it in a future speed review. But let's go ahead and finish up this video. So obviously this is the final look right here. Um, I love it. I actually really, really like everything that I tried on today. I didn't have any duds, so to say. Um, referring to the REM products that we tried out, which is what this is about. I am very happy with my purchase. I love everything that I have tried on. I think everything went on beautiful. It laid nicely. I like the bronzer. I think it's not overly pigmented, but it's a nice buildable pigmentation, which makes me very happy. I do like the color. I think I could possibly have even gotten away with the one that is another step up, but I am happy with this one. As far as the blush goes, I think it's beautiful. Again, it lays nicely on the skin. I didn't have any patching. I didn't have any pulling. It's got just a beautiful kind of sheen to it. So it's not a matte blush, but it's not a glowy blush. It's just one that gives you like a glow from within on your cheeks, a little flush of color. I do want to get more colors in it because I really, really like that formula. The highlighter I think is beautiful. I really, really like the glow that my cheek has and even my nose, all the things. Um, 
I think it's absolutely beautiful. I would like to get some more of those as well, maybe in the future one day. And, but I do think it's beautiful. I really, really like the highlighter. Um, the lip products. So the lip pencil so far, I really enjoy. I like it a lot. I need to continue to test it out to see how it wears and see if it starts to smear or come off throughout the day. The gloss, so far I am liking the gloss. Again, I don't like the applicator that it comes in. I, I don't like that at all. It drives me nuts, but like I said, if it is a good formula, I can overlook that. Um, I probably wouldn't have bought it if I had known about it, but since I have it, it's not going to keep me from using it, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, so far, this has been sitting on my lips for probably about two minutes now, and I don't feel, it's like a slight tingle, like a very, very slight tingle, nothing nothing awful. So I don't think it's going to get too bad. I don't know about the plumping effect. Again, I will let you know in a future video, but, um, yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm happy about my purchase. I'm so excited for this launch from REM. I'm so glad that she did it. I think it's beautiful. Um, if you're interested in it, I don't think that you would be disappointed. I think pick your colors and you will be very happy with it, but I think that's going to finish off this video. So yeah, let me know what y'all think. Have you tried REM Beauty before? Did you pick any of these up? Did you know about REM Beauty? Um, I want to know what all of your thoughts are down in the comments below. But again, I also want to thank you so much for being here today and watching my video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel because I do quit post quite a bit almost every single day if not every day here on my channel and i would love to have you be a part of that but until the next video have a good one bye